Now let's explore how you can use Langchain locally with Llama 3 using LM Studio. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is download LM Studio onto your local machine. You can get this from lmstudio.ai. We'll also put the link inside of this chat GPT lesson. After you've installed LM Studio, you can search for a variety of different specific models that you're interested in. So for example, I could be interested in this model. Then what you could do is then after you've done that, I would also suggest that you should probably download the one with the most downloads. And you can see someone here has put a Llama 3 instruct and they've done a 64K a token limit so that one's been quite interesting for my sake as well i've already got the llama 3 model uh, and you can get this specifically from meta ai let's let me just show you the one that i would recommend getting for which is this meta ai one so you'll want to download this one here so there's the llama studio and you can see i've already downloaded this at the meta th uh, llama 3 8 billion instruct now depending upon what level of quantization you go for Quantization is basically how the numbers become. Uh, if it's Q4 uh, and Q5 and Q6 and Q8, you've got different levels of quantization. So this is 8-bit quantization, you've got 6-bit K quantization. So generally, the lower the bit number, you can see the, the smaller the size of the file, uh, but you should generally go for a larger model if you can, if, full, uh, if the full GPU offload uh, is possible. And then that basically means that this model will they fit inside of the, the graphics processing unit. Um, so definitely go for the larger model, go for a higher a version of, of quantization, pause the video, download the model, and then come back. Uh, and once you've downloaded that model, okay, now that the model is downloaded, go over to the left-hand side and click on AI chat. And then what you can do is click on a model and select a model to load. So I'm, for example, interested in this method, uh, Llama 3 instruct. So then I'm gonna say, the configuration being applied contains different system prompts. So I'm gonna say, accept the new system prompt. And then what's happening right now is the Llama 3 model is being loaded locally into your graphics card, into RAM, so that you can interact with Llama uh, locally. So let's say, create a really nice story that talks about how children are having a good time. All right, and here you go. So now we've got Llama 3 that's now talking to us you know, inside of the LM Studio, which is great. So you've got a nice little story coming back here. Now this is all great, but what we wanna do is also take it one step further. So what I would also recommend you do is have a look at this. So let's stop generating your story. And then if you go over, you've got uh, the playground, which allows you to do multi-model session. And you've got this thing called the local server. And the local server allows us to, to load a model. So I'm gonna say accept this model. Uh, that's gonna load in the model. And then uh, what we can do is we can, you can see here, I can start a server. So when I click start server, that actually provides the same API endpoints that basically the OpenAI provides, which means that Langchain can now work locally against the Llama 3 model, right? The next step that you're going to need to do is download any Jupyter notebooks that are inside of this specific lesson and install Python if you haven't got that already on your computer. So you'll need to install Python and the various packages installed. Now I'm going to show you some of the notebooks. So the notebook you'll need is this llama3.ipymb. So once you've got that loaded up, basically what you're then going to do is import Langchain output passes and, and some various packages. And if you haven't installed those, you'll need to install those. And then after that, then you can set up some models that we want to pass back from Llama 3. So I want, for example, my articles to have sections and I want my article outline to contain a title, which is a type of string. And I also want it to have a list of article section outlines and all of the sections of the article. Now I set up my Pydantic output parser and I, set, I get my format instructions from my output parser. But instead of talking directly to ChatGPT on OpenAI's API, we can talk to the LM Studio's local server, which is at localhost 1234 and v1. And then you can see I can set API key not needed. And I've also set these extra arguments here with a stop position on triple backtop ticks. And the reason why we've done that is that because we want it to produce JSON, we're telling uh, Langchain act as an SEO specialist. It's very great at generating articles, but it should only respond in JSON format. 
We're passing in those format instructions, but we told it we must finish with this uh, this for, this format here. So it has to finish with the, the end at this. And when we hit this, that's when our stop token is going to be triggered. And then we have a human message. I want you to generate an effective article plan for me on digital marketing. And we provided the first set of back ticks. Uh, so then what we can see is if we go back to LM Studio now, so if I go back to LM Studio, you'll see that the tokens are starting to stream in and also see that we've got the title and now it's doing the description. Uh, so it's doing uh, so it's doing the description key. And so what we've got here is a JSON object that is being built up in real time and it's using the output passes that we define inside of Langchain. And again, we're hitting that chat completions endpoint that's but we're doing this locally now we've finished let's have a look and see if we can pass that into a pydantic object so we've now got our outline so let's have a look so we've got the title uh, which is the digital marketing article plan and we should also have a dot sections here as well and each um, section has the title of that article so we've managed to uh, specifically look at how do you download lm studio as well as installing the Llama 3 Instruct model. And then after doing that, then what we've done is we've loaded a local server after playing around with Llama 3 and LM Studio. We've loaded that local server, we've loaded a Jupyter Notebook, and we've changed the base URL specifically to target localhost 1234. Um, and we've also put in that nice stop model argument, which basically stops the model as it finishes JSON. And because what I found is Llama 3 can specifically start hallucinating, more and more JSON, so it's good to have a stop sequence uh, attached to the model. Cool, hopefully this gives you a bit of an introduction into how you can start to use LM Studio to do automations on your local computer.